Hi, this is Corey Kerr. I just want to make this really fast, but I wanted to show you how to make a wood grain vector texture. Now, you can make anything. Don't just follow what I'm doing, but, but here's how I would make a multi-layered vector texture that you can play with and adjust because it's vector. Now, a lot of people will just say, paste an image into Illustrator, go to Auto Trace, you know, and, uh, you know, mess with your settings a little bit, and there you go right? Um, you know, technically if you were to choose color and go full tone and go paths and all this stuff, then it would actually give you, you know, some kind of result, but you have a lot less control over that result. Yeah, technically it is a bunch of vector shapes, but you don't really have control over it. Whereas if you do what I'm about to show you, um, you can have layers of control that are grouped and you can change those colors, you can add gradients, you can use those as a texture and it's a lot more, um, you know, ways to handle. This is basically just the computer is just deciding to do something. So, you know, and if you look at this, yeah, it, it looks, you know, it's been vectorized. It's got a million little shapes, you know, and you can still do like a limited color palette. Like if I were gonna go limited, and I would choose three, you know, I could go like this and then click preview. And it will give me like a limited color palette, you know, and it's similar to what I'm about to show you, but you have so little control over it. Um, and, and it's very, it's not as useful afterward. Anyway, it becomes rather cumbersome. Whereas this, if I put these together, I can change them into whatever I want. And, and I can work with them and I can do whatever. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go relatively fast because I go over this process in another video in some detail. But basically come down here, choose threshold, okay? And this little slider is going to turn, it's going to give you a slice of this histogram. And it's going to turn every, every pixel either black or white. Start over here. Then you're going to grab, by holding shift, these two things and press command alt shift E, okay? That gives you one so if I were to hide this, you can see that gives you one, okay? So then, double click on this again, come over and slide it a little bit, get in the middle. Let's just go three levels. Then I'm going to click on that. Command, Alt, Shift, E. Gives me a second snapshot. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Double click here. Slide all the way so it's almost black. Something about like that. Command, Alt, Shift, E. Okay, now we have these three different levels and now we're gonna vectorize them. So let's grab them and bring them over to Illustrator. All right, so we have our three layers. First, just highlight everything by pressing Command A, Control A on a PC. Command C, switch over to Illustrator. Command V, I'm gonna create a new artboard here. And we'll make a third. Now hide this one, select that one. Command C, Command B. Back over again, select this guy, and grab the last one. Command C, Command V. There we go. Now that we've got those three, we're going to set up our auto trace. Okay, I'm going to click on one of these. I'm going to click on image trace. It will take a little moment, and then I'm going to go over here. There's the image trace panel. Click that button. <clears throat> and turn preview off advanced. I want as many paths, as many corners, and as much noise as possible. I want to ignore white and I want to get rid of that. No strokes, all fills. Then click preview and see what happens there. That's, that's pretty good. That's kind of what we want. Okay, so now go ahead and get out of that. Click on the next one with your white arrow tool. Go image trace. Okay, same, same settings as before. Turn preview off, ignore white. All the noise, all the curves, all the paths. You can change your threshold if you want. Check your preview, make sure that's what you wanna do. That's okay. Okay, then click on this guy. Again. Crank those to where you want them. Now, you can adjust these if you want. 
but just for simplicity's sake here. I might adjust my threshold just a touch on that. Go down, see what happens when we go down. All right, that's fine. Okay, now when you go to your layers palette, you should have three different things. Let's name them. Okay, and in theory, there should be no white. Good, that's excellent. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one, expand it, and I'm gonna change it to, oh, let's get our CMYK values out. Let's change it to like a light blue. Let's go yellow. Yellow, okay, grab this one, expand it. We'll sample our yellow here and add a little bit of orange. Okay, great. Click on this guy, expand it. Okay, we'll sample our orange here. And we'll add a little bit more magenta there. All right, now, get out your layers palette. Make sure that your dark is on the bottom, your middle is in the middle, and then you grab them all, put them on top of each other. Okay, and now, you have a kind of interesting wood green and you have total vector control over this, right? So you can see underneath, we still have some stuff underneath, but I can still select my yellow and I can make any adjustments. We can make our yellow green. Okay, we can make our mid value, you know, a darker green. And we can make our darks a super dark green, okay, or vice versa. But in any case, it's a vector texture. Um, you can use this on your transparency uh, mask if you want by clicking make mask on something and then copying these over or whatever you want. But this gives you some control uh, vector wise. So you can stretch them, you can edit these paths, but they're paths. So there is that. A three layer, you can do any, any number of layers, uh, a three layer, layer vector texture. So, and let me just show you what we're looking at here. You can see, you can see through it. So let me just make you, just because of the way we did it. But you don't have to. I mean, if you wanted to, uh, you know, this could be part of it or whatever. And then you can offset these, you know, to get different effects and, and things like that. And it'll change it all up. So, all right.